Hey everybody, welcome to the next Tyrant, right? Yeah. Right, the new random talk show where we, Teresa and I just talk about stuff, right? You're answering questions. Answering questions? Mm -hmm. So where did you get these questions for this Tyrant? Facebook and YouTube. Facebook and YouTube. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, we peeled off a few of them, Teresa did anyway, and I, it's just a great place to start. So somebody wanted to know, are we going to ride the bull and when the next camp out was? So ride the bull, are we going this year, Teresa? It's August 26th, and again this year it conflicts with a couple of things that we had lined up. So what we'll do next year is we'll put it on the calendar first, and then we'll kind of book around it because that... Yeah. That's a problem if we don't know the date of something, we end up booked up and we're booked. Yeah, and we stay so busy with guides and filming for the show in the summertime, so it's, a lot of times it's hard for us to peel out of Pensacola yeah. to do something like that, but it's, you know, it's something I really want to do. We were just in yeah, Grand Howe we, filming. We haven't been yet. We, no. we want to go so bad. So, so many people. Um, yeah, another thing was somebody wants to know, Teresa, is when the next camp out is. I'm working. You working uh, on it? Hopefully it's in October, possibly in Mississippi. All right, so there's a campground, and we, we filmed uh, the Mississippi stuff over there in Pascagoula, and it was amazing marsh, tail and reds everywhere. And we actually found a campground at the bottom of that Pascagoula River system marsh area. What's the, what's the campground called, honey? Shepherd State Park. Shepherd State Park. So we're kind of looking at that for a possible camp out area. It's real central. Um, a lot of people from Louisiana and Florida and even Texas can get there pretty quick. So uh, the food is amazing in southern Mississippi. And there's a, there's a lot to do with casinos and all. So it seems like a good place to have a camp out. And October is much, much cooler. And October is cooler and, you know, less bugs and stuff. So that's kind of where we're at right now. We're looking at an October Mississippi possibly. possibly. We've even talked about some Louisiana locations, which is, once again, super central. And the fishing's awesome. So... Um, yeah, if we have a camp out, I will, we will get it out before the end of this month. Everybody liked having three or four months to plan, so if there's going to be one, we'll definitely decide on it and get it out. If not, we'll do it next year. They can't see you. That's okay. <laughs> You're off camera. That's the deal on the next camp out and ride the bull. <coughs> Another question was, best time for speckled trout? Now, Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> you know, speckled trout are a pretty consistent fish. We catch them all year long. In the wintertime, we catch them in deeper holes, deeper ditches, canals, you know, in the middle of a bay if there's a hole or, or a boat. Uh, in Rockport, we used to catch them in, a, in, a, in like a canal that went into a neighborhood. It was only four foot deep, but it held them all winter. And then the summertime trout bite, to me, is pretty consistent. Right, Tracy? Uh -huh, yeah. We catch trout all summer long, and we all catch years. a lot of them. And then in the fall, they actually pick up, if you can believe that, from good to great. Fall and spring. So right now, they're, we're actually starting to catch bigger ones than we've caught all summer. Mm -hmm. And it only gets better as the air cools down a little bit, you know, in the fall. And the springtime is on fire for trout. It's a trout bite all year. Let's just get, let's just get cut to the chase, Teresa. Wherever yeah. she is, she's wandering around this big old barn. Um, clean yeah. up from our last You're cleaning up from... <laughs> All right, so specs, anytime, all time. Top water spec bite in the morning is amazing. They, they pop, 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 pop. It's just one of my favorite things to catch on top water. And then you can drop down with suspension baits like Miradines around here is a very popular bait. And you can drop down with a, a rip and slash in gold around here, the two and a quarter inch, I think it is. And two and something, the smaller one. And gulp is always a gimme. And soft plastics, especially in dirtier water, East Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, a paddle tail in a darker color just kills them, whether it's purple or, or uh, kind of a brown or olive color. Um, those egret bait wedge tails in that, I forget what they, why oh, she's making a lot of noise back there. In that, that egret bait wedge tail in the kind of the oil, midnight oil or something they call it. I forget. What? On, so yeah, specs all year, man. That's pretty much it. Okay, go over y'all's rods, your crate your milk crate and rod holders so let's get to that what do you say all right i'm gonna peel y'all off of my barn wall my velcro well first off we've used the uh yak attack backpack we both loved it 
Um, we, it's it's handy offshore. You can close it. It's got a latch, so that is the number keeps, one. Keeps the sun off stuff. Yeah, it's got rod holders attached to it, so that is the number one. Uh, yeah, but if you're uh, a cheapy kind of person that wants to just DIY it, which we are. Like me? Uh, yeah, Mr. Cheapy. He, well, he squeaks when Look he walks. All right, so let's, let's look at what we're rolling with right now. It's kind of dark back here, but... Go ahead, show them, Teresa. So this, we were driving down the road, and I was like, hey, there's a milk crate on the side of the road. So he stopped and picked it up, and that's his new milk crate. Yeah, so I just zip-tied in some old rod holders. Mm -hmm. You can see here. Yep, and the milk crates, they have the handles on all four sides, so they work great. They're deep, um, water flows in and out of them great. Mine's the same way. Also, these Hobie, don't forget the Hobie brand rod holders. Oh, yeah, these we, suckers are bad to the bone. All right, all right, so let's start. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so I've got the same thing, a black milk crate with PVC custom made. And uh, if I'm correct, my brother made this one? Yes, right? your brother did. Okay. He, he cut that with some kind of a little saw. Yeah, so uh, milk crate, again, water flows through it. Same kind of thing. We put these, we use these kind of boxes that the water flows through. So, you know, when we're rinsing down, I use one Hobie rod holder. Ty uses two on his Revo, and I think he has Zuka tubes on the Zuka tubes rail mount. I didn't tell you, but I lost my Zuka tube the other day. How did you lose your Zuka? Well, I'm tube? constantly adjusting them. What'd you do? Drop it in the water? I just started uh, turning it, and it just flopped and just fell off. In the water? No, in the desert. Yes, in the water. <laughs> Jeez, man! Um, come yeah. on. See right there. I put a Zuka tube right there. And it allows your rod to come up this way. Yeah. And if I'm trolling, sometimes I move the Zuka tube over here. Yeah. You know. But most of the time, they're behind me. Um, I really like them behind me, even for trolling. Yep. And then we do use the recessed rod holders. We since do it's what? A question, it's, well, since it's a question about rod holders, we use the recessed rod holders in the Outbacks. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so... Yeah, the Outbacks have a lot of nice rod holders in them, mm -hmm. recessed. Mm -hmm. What do you want to tell everybody? I'm sure you want to tell everybody something special. I don't want to talk. You don't want to talk? No. You've been That's yakking? your job. Yeah, you're the talker of the special, two of it's us. It's special when you're in no. here with me and I'm not just talking to you. You're the, the talker of the two of us. I appreciate y'all chiming in on this tie rant. If you have any more questions for the next tie rant, comment below, right? Yes. And we'll catch you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And we'll see y'all right here on 30 Miles Out. Tyrant. What? Oh, you're over here. <coughs>